this past weekend, finally free from all my schoolwork, I helped my family put up all our Christmas decorations. This is always a favorite for me. The tree, the lights, the Christmas music blaring in the background. It never fails to bring a smile to my face. It is something always simultaneously old and new, familiar but thrilling. It fills me with anticipation for Christmas Day, and it fills me with memories of my family, which are always comforting and hopeful. For me, it is this comfort and hope and anticipation that stands out in this past week's readings. In the second reading, we hear that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. While I think for many other people this can be a little startling to think about, for me there is great comfort in it, because it reminds me about how small all my worries or troubles are compared to the God that holds us all. Oftentimes when things aren't going well, it feels as if it will last that way forever, and I think all of us have especially felt that way this past year. When each day feels the same, when every day has a worse headline, it can become hard not to become despondent and hopeless. But we are reminded in the reading that all these things will pass away. And that is a cause for comfort, for hope. In Advent, we see this hope very clearly. We anticipate Christ's coming with eagerness, and we know that he who is our salvation is coming soon. There is a light on the horizon, a star in the sky to lead us out of the darkness, and that light is Christ. I think for me, this also reminds me of what truly matters. St. Peter tells us that because everything else passes away, we should be concerned with what sort of person you ought to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion. And this is something that always reinvigorates me, which centers me, because that's what I should be concerned about in the here and now. How am I living this life for Christ in this moment, in this day, is what matters, not the passing chaos around me. When we are loving, caring, and selfless, we find greater purpose and fulfillment in our own lives, because this, at the end of the day, is what we're really called to do, to be Christ's hands and feet to others. In this spirit, I heard the opening words of the first reading a little differently this year than I might have otherwise. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. God gives each of us great comfort, great hope, but he also gives it to us so that we might share it with others. More than any other year, each one of us could use the comfort and the hope. So more than any other year, I think it is important that we take comfort in Christ's promise and that we show and share that hope with others, that we might give comfort to each other in these difficult times.